Thanks for watching our new video. We are the Piano Solutions Restoration Shop and we continue our conversation about importance of piano restoration. Last time we agreed that it's, uh, um, we have to maintain restoration because these beautiful pianos be alive and everybody see this old world craftsman that the people 100 years ago built these gorgeous pianos. That's one as aspect. And another, uh, the pianos over 100 years old, they just obtain the certain qualities that are uh, very unique. And if you do a meticulous restoration on these pianos, you'll be rewarded by the unique sound. It's nothing compared with the new pianos. It's completely different. And, the, and besides this, these pianos can last for the next century and probably even more. Uh, anyway, um, that's, uh, we agree that we're going to take care about uh, these unique skills, piano restoration. From another side, we get a lot of uh, feedback from the people. They frustrated what has been done with this piano, with their pianos after restoration. And uh, I have to agree with them because uh, even I experienced for the last 30 years many restorations with, with been done with soldiers, uh, poor, and uh, you even ask yourself why should they spend the time for doing this uh, restoration. Anyway, uh, we have to find out what we should do in order to make restoration always good. Uh, that's two uh, things we have to uh, concentrate on. First of all, knowledge. People are supposed to know what they do. And it's not uh, complicated because during this, uh, whatever, century uh, maybe, uh, it means so many just publications about how to do these things. And that's already just like everybody knows it. Like, for instance, uh, one of the organizations that uh, they... Uh, uh, um, issued these journals even in 1967 and of course they explain everything how to do uh, starting from uh, pedals uh, and everything just like how to install the strings it means it's uh, everybody already knows what to do but why are we still uh, dealing with the problems that's another most complicated thing since it's very time consuming that basically, if you do a really meticulous restoration, it's not going to be profitable. Or people exhaust it. They're not able to do it consistent. Why? Because they don't have the tools. Actually, in a um, regular restoration shop, the tools is very primitive. It's basically nothing been done for the century. That's the uh, prime uh, reason why we experience these problems because lack of the tools. And uh, uh, from my point of view, it's the uh, most important thing. And uh, last 30 years, uh, I've invest a lot of time and of course uh, financial uh, investment uh, was done in these tools. Almost every aspect of restoration uh, was covered with a, a precision tool. Uh, it's eliminate the time of restoration, uh, still keep the quality, and make your work uh, desirable. That's why we want to share with you what you have to do uh, in uh, restoration uh, in order to make it profitable and you enjoy it too. You have to do investment in the tools. And we show you what uh, we did in restoration for the last uh, decades. Uh, we show you all these tools that you got an idea what to invest, uh, where you're supposed to invest, where you're supposed to spend your time. And uh, in this case, I'm completely confident that if you possess this tool, you can uh, bring your restoration to a completely different level. And uh, most importantly, that our customers don't complain anymore. <laughs>
Thanks for watching our video and we see you next time.